Praise be Jesus Christ. Our Blessed Mother told little Saint Jacinta of Fatima, this wonderful prophet, that more souls go to hell because of sins of impurity than any other. We also see in scripture that the first words from the devil in Genesis chapter 3, the devil says, did God really say? You see, the devil's number one tactic to get people to hell is to confuse them about God's word and to confuse them, especially in the area of their sexuality. And we see this today. So much of the Western world is falling prey to the confusion that was brought in by the sexual revolution. And this is leading people to hell. Now, I wanna give uh, five things that we need to proclaim to our young people today. First of all, we need to proclaim to our young people that the world has gone bonkers. Most young people, even if they're being drawn into the ways of the world, they have enough sense to see this. They know that the world has gone bonkers and they're looking for people who will proclaim the truth with clarity so they can know the way. The second thing we have to proclaim to our young people is that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. If you want to know the way that leads to fulfillment, that leads to life, that leads to eternal life, if you want to know your identity, your dignity, your authority, your destiny, you need to go to the Lord Jesus and he will give you light and you can go to him by reading his words. In sacred scripture, we hear clearly from the Lord Jesus himself, the truth, the truth about our human sexuality, the truth about our dignity and how to find life and get to heaven. The third thing we need to proclaim to our young people is that the Lord Jesus' call on our life, it's radical. Jesus doesn't call us to mediocrity. Jesus calls us to great holiness. It's a radical call. It's a call to a high dignity. It's, and, and I can give you some examples. For example, in uh, Matthew chapter 5, Jesus says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus also says in Matthew 18, and if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. Jesus calls us to radical holiness and that's part of our dignity. The fourth thing we need to proclaim to our young people is he calls us to battle for purity. Purity doesn't just kind of fall out of the sky instantly. I mean, yes, the Holy Spirit does come and he gives us a special grace to fight this battle. But every single person, even the saints, they had to engage this battle to grow in the virtue of, of chastity and, and to, to, be, to become pure, to let God purify them. And this is, this is a hard battle. It can be an exhausting battle at times. It, it can be, um, we can sometimes feel discouragement of how hard this battle is. But ultimately, it's a battle that the Lord fights with us. He gives us the grace of the Holy Spirit. He gives us he gives us his power. He gives us the grace to get up and to keep going. It's a glorious battle that we must fight. The devil wants us simply to, to put down our weapons and stop fighting and give ourselves over to our fallen passions. And if we do that, St. Paul says, if we live according to the flesh, we die. But if by the spirit we put to death the fallen deeds of the body, then we live the fifth thing we need to proclaim to our young people is that if you fight this battle for purity, you will find peace in this life and your reward will be great in heaven. I want to end by reading from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2339. Chastity includes an apprenticeship in self-mastery, which is a training in human freedom. The alternative is clear. Either man governs his passions and finds peace, or he lets himself be dominated by them 
and becomes unhappy. Viva Cristo Rey.